Yeah, good evening. Tonight I'm going to show you how giving up one of these might actually help to save a child's life and show you where donations to Haiti have actually gone. It turns out Bermuda's record of giving might be a little better than most. In the three years since a massive quake ripped Haiti apart, more than $2.84 billion have been pledged to slowly but surely rebuild. But a new UN report suggests that most of those funds have actually remained in donors' pockets, leaving education and medical care at crisis levels, an estimated one doctor for every 10,000 people. But take solace in this. Thanks to donated dollars direct from Bermuda, for some, that's about to change. So 70 children are housed in this classroom number eight. Dr. Christopher Johnson, Feed My Lambs Phil Rigo, and others have returned to Haiti to map out construction of a medical clinic on the grounds of an orphanage and school funded by many of you. They have an orphanage which, which houses and gives shelter and food to uh, over 35 children. We're standing on the top floor of a school that Mr. Rigo and his foundation has built. Uh, that actually teaches over 416, uh, 416 children. There'll be a small pharmacy here, a small lab here, and a dental area over here. Phil has rescued children that were found in trash cans in the capital. Some of these children were uh, child slaves. Uh, some of them were just rejected by families who couldn't feed them uh, or care for them. What their families couldn't or wouldn't do, Bermudians apparently will. How much would you say that you've probably taken in? And I know you can't, you know, give me an exact figure, but ballpark. And then we collected about $11,000 in hand that people come and gave us, well, went through the accounts by 211, I think it is, and about another 11 came in outside of the bank. A better average, perhaps, than suggested in that UN report, but that was last year. What are your immediate needs? Our immediate needs would be um, is keeping the kids alive. Um, <laughs> it's you know we have to raise short of nine thousand every month to keep everyone. We need we need water purification here. We need food. Um, we need solar panels. We have no electricity here. I want to put this thought out there. We have sixty thousand people in Bermuda, roughly. Yeah. If we all gave up one soda, each of us, it will fund this program for the entire year. A simple request that could help mend the fabric of this still torn, still struggling society. Boy, talk about making a difference, huh? If you'd like to help, contact HSBC under Feed My Lambs. I'm Tracy Neal reporting for ZBM News. Back to you.